What's up, my dude? Your friendly neighborhood, Tony here. And today we're going to check out the first official trailer for an upcoming crime drama that has an awesome cast and is being directed by the guy who directed a bunch of the Harry Potter movies. The movie's called Pain Hustlers, and it's set to come out October 20th here in the States. So let's jump on real quick. We'll watch the trailer together. Then we'll talk a little bit about it afterwards to see if it looks like it's going to be any good. If that kind of thing sounds cool to you and you want to keep up to speed on all the new big movies that are coming out in theaters and at home on streaming, Make sure you subscribe. Okay, without further ado, the first official trailer for Pain Hustlers. Here we go. I will not give up on myself. I will not give up on my dreams. Okay, we got Emily Blunt. Make my life count. You're gonna get through this. It's who you are. She's such a great actress. Only two years of high school. Well, I left to pursue a career in sales. Cut call, what is that, like steak knives? Yeah. Um, it was <laughs> other kinds of knives, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shot, please. Don't embarrass me. Hi. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Oh. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Man. Yeah, it's seriously a great cast. Into paradise. Get a doctor to prescribe your drug. You know what we bill on a full dose script? What? 40 grand. A year? A month. On some level, Nice. I knew it was bullshit. A long odds lottery ticket buried under a thousand rejections. And you gotta have the grit and the balls to reach down and scratch it. There's nothing so inspiring okay. as sheer desperation. We're not gonna make 100K this year. It's gonna be more like 600. All right. Work like your back's against the wall. Own your territory. Own your territory. Own a territory. It's kind of like uh, Wolf of Wall Street vibes. Dying. Sales are flat. Sales are flat at 170 million a quarter. Like that. Use your crisis as your fire. You'd be amazing. Oh, I know that actress love. too. It's not your fault. You're not a bad person. This looks pretty good. I will not give up on myself. I will not give up on my dreams. I will make my life count. I will make my life count. Interesting. Is it me or is he losing his shit? Hey! Get the <laughs> shoes off! Get your shoes off! Okay. <laughs> He's a little uh, little loosey-goosey there. Okay, October 27th, it says here on Netflix, and I believe it's going to be in theaters before that, which is the October 20th release date. So, okay, so Pain Hustlers, as I mentioned, it's directed by David Yates. Now, he's the guy that directed a bunch of the Harry Potter movies, including all of the more recent Fantastic Beasts movies, which I, you know, I really like the first Fantastic Beasts movie, not really a big fan of the second two, but he is a good director overall. And of course, the cast is insane. You have Emily Blunt playing the main character, Chris Evans, Catherine O'Hara, Andy Garcia. Um, the younger girl, I, where have I seen her before? Oh, here we go. So her name is Chloe Coleman. And yes, she was in Dungeons and Dragons, which is an awesome movie. Uh, she was also in 65, which was not very good. That's the one with Adam Driver, where it's like an outer space with dinosaurs. So she's been in a few things recently, which is really cool. Now, as far as the premise of the movie is concerned, it just says here, high school dropout Liza Drake lands a job with a failing pharmaceutical startup in a yellowing strip mall in Central Florida. Florida, where she soon finds herself at the center of a criminal conspiracy with deadly consequences. Now, I don't know if this is based specifically on a true story, but it definitely feels like these are some genuine events that occurred. I live in Florida, and I know that there have been major issues with the pain management industry, specifically when it comes to prescribing pills to people and pushing pills on people that have gotten them addicted uh, really horribly. It says here too that it is based on the Evan Hughes New York Times Magazine article, The Pain Hustlers, which came out in 2018, and the book, The Hard Sell, that came out in 2022. So it is based on some legitimate work from recent years. I'm really curious to see how this does. I know there was another movie that came out recently, I think, that was had a similar premise as far as being about the pain industry and pain pills and all that stuff. I forget what that one was called, but this seems like a topic that is on a lot of people's minds right now. 
I'm definitely gonna watch this. Let me know what you think in the comments below though. Are you interested in this kind of movie? I feel like it's definitely worth a shot if only for the cast and the director behind it. But whatever you think, positive or negative, let me know in the comments below. Of course, I'll be watching and reviewing this when it does come out. So if you wanna see that, or if you just wanna keep up to speed on all the new big movies that are coming out in theaters and on streaming, make sure you subscribe. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Be good.